सो हाई गायज आई एम दीपक एंड आई एम बैक विद इन अदर वीडियो सो लास्ट टाइम इन टेंस ऑफ लाइट मॉडल सीरीज आई बिल्ड अ मॉडल वेर आई हैड अ सेट ऑफ इनपुट नंबर्स एंड आउटपुट नंबर्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दो टू ट्रेनिंग सेट्स आई वॉज एबल टू फिगर आउट अ मॉडल दैट विल मेक प्रोडिक्शन सो आई यूज अ मॉडल विद केरास एंड आई हैड ऑप्टिमाइजर एंड ऑप्टिमाइजर लाइक सोकेस्टिक ग्रीडियन डिसेंट एंड अ लॉस फंक्शन ऑफ मीन्स क्योर एर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दोज आई यूज फाइव हंड्रेड ई पॉक्स टू रन द मॉडल फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड टाइम्स सो the loss value would be really small it it was a really small value then i used a uh, save model to save the model and convert it to tensorflow lite so that was that then i used interpreter to test the value for random 500 values and see if it works and that time it worked and we were able to build a model but the problem is we have to Use this model in an Android application. So, if you want to implement a TensorFlow Lite model, if you are a beginner, so this video is for you. I'll be implementing this model in Android Studio. Uh, I will be talking about the layouts, the code, and various other things. So, the last line of code that you see giving an error is for collaboratory to download your model. If you are writing this code in collaboratory, so it's not an error. It's just that this doesn't support in Jupyter Notebook. So guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel I will ask you to subscribe to the channel for such future videos and let's get started So guys this is your basic layout for your Android Studio and I'll be dropping some plain text and button first Plain text will be used to input our values that will be our input values and based on the input values our model would make predictions like that we have trained it for for making prediction for 2 to the uh, 2x minus 1 so i am setting constraints um the purpose of setting constraint is that the these widgets will not be floating because if i don't set the constraint they will probably move to top left corner and it will be a jumbled mess so we don't want that so that's why we should set constraints and constraint widget to 16 so it's uh, it has some space from the boundaries that was says 16 And I'm setting a text to prediction model two x minus one. Your choice if you want a text view that will display what's the function of this app. So now we have set a text view which uh, which states what's the function of our app. It just says that it's a prediction model. Then I will add a text where I'll be uh, writing the values like five, ten, twelve, thirteen, and a button that when I will press the button it will compute the output so i'm dragging a text view where i'll be storing our outputs and this is a text view and i'm setting the constraints again we don't want which is to be floating to top left that's why setting the constraint which is 24 and then i'm setting length height and layout height and width to match constraints so now let's talk about writing the code first so this is a layout we need to get the reference in a main code to this layout first so i'm setting the ids of this code so text view will have the id of uh, let's say output you can see this is our text view and i'm writing its id to output same for our edit text that's its id is input and our button id is button and i'm in removing the hard text because It serves no purpose here, so that's why. So now let's have our private variables, private text view, edit text, and button. For edit text, I'll be having, I'll be naming it input because it's taking inputs. Wait a minute. So input. Actually, I do voiceovers after I have written the code. That's why it seems a bit off what I'm saying, and if it doesn't match sometimes, so just saying. So this is our code, and uh, one more thing that we need is uh, our interpreter. Interpreter TF Lite. Uh, I will talk over later about the interpreter, but first, let's link it to layout. Input will be having edit text, find view by ID, R dot. id dot input and output will be edit uh, text view find view by id 
r dot id dot output and a button usual button and find view by id dot button that's its id so let's talk about the code so first i'll need to get my model here first so model will be in the assets if you don't know about assets it's in our it's in the android i'll show it later first let's talk about the code that will read our tensor light model so i have mapped pipe buffer and i'll throw an exception if there's an error so i have exception so let's have a load file here that will be name so here you can see on android i can create new assets by going to here folder and if i have already created the assets folder so i don't need to and i'll just copy paste my model so you i when you save your model it's saved in a certain position saved in a certain directory that you can look at and copy paste in your assets so that is required and also there's one more thing you have to have that implementation for tensorflow so that thing aside here's a asset file descriptor file descriptor that this dot gets assets and a enough model name i have named it f00 for no apparent reason and i have a file input stream dot uh new file input stream sorry so i have a file descriptor dot get descriptor here so obviously there's a mistake that is a file input stream file input stream new file input stream file descriptor dot get file descriptor then i need a file channel so that i can read write data in file input stream is mainly for reading data from our model then i have input read uh, file input stream dot get channel next is i need the start start off set so from where our assets start and a length if i uh, if you don't declare your length your length is basically zero so long declare length i have a file descriptor dot get declare length so and i will be returning my file channel dot map file channel dot map mode read only and the start of set and declare length i'll be passing this so now let's call a try method for exceptions that's why i've thrown the exception there first so e dot print stackers that's simple then i have a tfl model new interpreter and mentioning my model name load model file so now i need a set on click listener for my button so when i click on the button it will do the computation so i have a button set on click listener new view on click listener and i will find the code so i have a float for predictions a float variable prediction and i am making a function inference and i'll be passing my text that will be writing in my input so input dot get text dot to string and the value that i'll get from that inference function i'll output it to set text so output text dot float dot to string so that's our main code now let's uh, get back to our function that's inference so public float inference and the argument that string is so i'll have a float uh, one d array first it have only so input equal input value equal new float one and uh, so don't turn off your youtube if you see the error here i know f is in the capital and i cannot correct it right now i have already in the code and this is a video playing and i'm just speaking right now so i know f should be in small letters it should be float on f uh, you got my point and if you don't know just uh, stay tuned you will see what will be the error here so tfly dot run so i have an input value and an output value i have set input value to be equal to the string and i have set the string to float so float dot value of string and i have run my model and i'll 
keep putting the and when after i run the model uh, the value will be stored in an output value so infer value is equal to output value zero zero so now let's return our infant value and that's the code basically so if i run it it will probably give me the error just because of one mistake i didn't notice so emulator is taking some time to run but there is gonna be an error here because f is capital here and if you ever encounter a problem like app is not running app is continuously crashing you should always check your log cat it will always give you some information regarding the problem and you can always search it in stack overflow so if you have any problem regarding this application running this code uh comment in the comment section i'll try to answer your queries and as you can see my app is not running here it's not gonna because there's an error and uh, the error being the it's not recognizing the data type so guys that's the code and I'll be doing a video about how you can make a application that predict if the movie reviews are good or bad. So subscribe to the channel for that if you are interested in building an application like that. So here we have created the spellings. If I run it. So guys, that's our application for today. It works now. As you can see the model 2x minus 1, 56 times 2 uh 112 so it's giving 111 so that's fine so you can see the model is good it's working fine and so i've already done in one series of making a to-do list application so this was the to-do list that i made so if you want to make an application like this um i'll have a link in the description or on the i button so and thanks for watching guys if you like this video do consider subscribing like the video press the bell icon and thanks for watching